I think in my introduction, I forgot to tell you that's Ann Whitney. I, mean, I just assume many of you know Ann, so we're so grateful that she's here today. Thank you, that's so beautiful. Um, yesterday, here out on our front lawn, we celebrated the life of uh, Becky Patricia Schul. Most of us knew her as Pat. Uh, Pat had been a part of my life for over 20 years as I connected with her through community theater here in Anderson. Uh, but six years ago, after we opened this church, uh, Pat became a part of the congregation here and shared her talents and gifts with us so generously, uh, both in uh, her drama skills as we she directed us in a couple of productions here among our congregation uh, through her involvement with our art ministry in fact uh, our hallways here are lined with many beautiful paintings that Pat did um, so as we uh, said yesterday uh, there was only one Pat and we are going to miss her so very much and we lift up uh, in prayer uh, her daughter Morgan and her husband Scott and their daughter Abby and then two very very special friends uh, very much like sisters to Pat um, Donna Shiflett and Jane Gray Sullivan who is also a part of this congregation um, so this morning, and Pat watched, uh, after we entered into the COVID time, Pat faithfully watched uh, on uh, Sunday mornings. Uh, you know, I go back when I watch the video later uh, and see how many people actually came on live. And we usually have, you know, anywhere from eight to 12, 15 sometimes folks joining us live. And Pat was always one of them. So I kind of feel like Pat is still with us and she's watching here today. And so um, Pat, just once more, thank you for being you. Uh, let's pray together. Thank you, O oh God, for the promises given to us through the beauty of your word. I think of the words shared down through the ages by the prophet Isaiah that Anne so beautifully sung just a moment ago, the hope that you do take us, you, you take us as we are, and, and you take our valleys and you raise them up, and our mountains, you s smooth them over, our crooked places you make straight. You are the hope of of all creation and for that we are so grateful so today as you come to us anew comfort those whose hearts are broken in grief including ours give strength to those who are weak and heavy laden by life's many challenges including illness and help us all through these difficult days of living amidst the pandemic for we all have been put in a place of waiting, waiting a lot more than we ever have done before. And many times we're not very good at it. So grant to us your gift of patience, for we know a brighter and better day is ahead as we place our faith and trust in you. In the name of Christ, amen. We have opportunity to worship this morning through our